Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, uh, we're back here. Andy's just turned up with the new bash bar. <whistles> Fuck, that's more, boy. <laughs> Looks, average. Looks average. Fuck you, eh? How good. Andy's on, man. Andy is on. So yeah, we're gonna... Hurry up so you can help. No, I'm just, I'm just watching you. Yeah, it needs to sit, sit further out. We're gonna make a two. Yeah. yeah. That's all we're tempted to like. Let it slide. It's about 100 more, whatever we're doing, so I can dip one on without a bump up. So you can push, push it in and run it flat. Yeah. Fuck, he's a sharp boy. Bro, not all just good looks, brother. Straight up. I say, but then the other alternative is. If we want to jack off it, I don't know if that's That's not a functional yeah. setup. Yeah. I don't know. I don't bloody know. Oh. Looks cool though. So yeah, we just got the bumper there on our main supports. Just seeing um, how it's all fits. This side's a bit closer. But, yeah. Nah, I think that's, that's on the money there. That's going to look good. Um... Obviously, because they're, we're using just over fenders, no body, the gaps are a little bit bigger and stuff, but it looks good to me. So, yeah, we got the bumper bar in here. Um, we've just got some G clamps and shit holding it up. Um, and we're just trying to figure out how we can attach it to this bar. So, it's probably going to just go straight out to here. Um, and then we probably won't use this as a jack point because it will be too far out. And the poles will bend, maybe. We're not too sure. We're just going to try and. Um, play around with a few options um, and then or worst case we just put a V off a V off this the white bar here and uh, make that the jack point um, the jack easily fits under the car with the bumper on like sweet as these the jacks are fucking awesome so yeah we should be should be good either way guys piece of shit thing here get away <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I was gonna paint this shit out there anyway we got um We've got some pipe here we're gonna cut up. Oh, Andy, oh, he's got the safety gears. I'm just gonna put the fucking. For once, bro, I see, like, usually I do nothing. I'm just, hey! Got my overalls on. Yeah, well, that's it. Oh, you got covered in. You don't have your Crocs on. You don't have your work boots on. Yeah, covered shoes. Goodness me. Jeez, Andrew's here to do the damage. A <laughs> man Raz over here spraying up my wheels since he's done all his bars and shit and they fucking look all good so the bro's on, giving them a little bit of a spruce up. And Andy's in here, going hard, pumping out, doing the um, the rear bash bar. We've got it mounted up. Um, yeah. There's a jack there, bro. Watch your feet. He's just welding the bars and then it extends in the whole thing slides in. So, yeah, fucking looking good, boy. Rightio, so uh, yeah, everything's on. We did these little um, plate things. Everything's looking pretty damn good. And he smashed oh, yeah. it. Oh, beautiful, look at that. Boy. Doesn't even mark it. And then, yeah, I was mucking around with the cluster surround, and then I'm gonna gotta get wait for the link dash to turn up and see if it fits in there. But yeah, should be good. Then yeah, we're just gonna carry on. Oh, geez, you're tough. Yeah, it's good. You going for a fly, brother? Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. So yeah, Andy's done a fucking mean job. Sorting these out, pins through there, so the bumper slides off if need be. Um, yeah, it's just fucking awesome. Awesome. We just gotta sort out the risers for that. 
What's the best part? The fact it's adjustable. Oh, it's adjustable, yeah. <laughs> so what we've done is that the bumper has to sit out here for the um, for the bash bus that's out here to hold the bumper. But then when the bumper's off, it sticks out too far and looks a little bit funny, like that. So you got to just take the pins out and then you can adjust it forward. And it looks fucking gangster. So. And this works mint as a jack point, so yeah, happy with that for sure. We might just put a little nub on it. Look at that, boom. Push it in a bit more. Sleek design. The pin goes in there. It actually, it really does. <laughs> it really does. And then, yeah, like, it's, um, yeah, good to go. So Andy's just going to, we're going to go up and he's just going to, what, finish off welding again? No, no, welded at the bottom. Welded at the bottom? Yeah, um, just, oh, just the tail light, <coughs> take the... Yeah, but we need to work out your the insides of these, um, and we need to, like I say, mount your boot, just in case we do have to weld anything off for a pin. Oh, yes, right. We'll do that, and then like I say, and everything yeah. come off, finish welding it. Finish and welding it, and then, it on, then, yeah. Um, and then we'll probably put a little nub on the bottom of there, I would say. Maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Might do that. But yeah, well, fucking success, boy. Look at that. This man, pretend engineer of the century. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what's behind there. So it's tail light brackets, and then a bracket off for the tail light garnish trim bit. Looks good. Fucking boy. Roger. Yeah, beautiful. Look at him. Just little stitch welds on there. Looks like a really um, happy face, you know. Eyes, mouth, choice. All right, it's so a bit of an update. We have the front guards pretty much mounted. Um, indicators. Just gotta cut the fucking front bumper so it doesn't hit the intercooler. Perfect, no worries. So yeah, just had to cut that off because it was hitting the um, intercooler. Got some tires down here to try to line up the front bumper. The front guard's just got a big washer there and then under there as well. The door's open happily, so that's mint. Um, oh, hang on, we're gonna have to go. You got yeah, that, so. Oh, it's trying. Uh, it's like gotta go up a bit. But yeah, we're um, smashing it out. Fucking Andy's pumping the tonnage. So, yeah, it's Alright guys, it's been a hell of a weekend. Um, and yeah, really, at the end of the day, I can't thank um, Andy enough for his work that he's done this weekend for me. Um, yeah, he's been the real MVP, that's for sure. Getting so much done with the rear bars and stuff like that. The, bar, the rear's pretty much done. Um, just got to put my other lights in and stuff like that. So, yeah, real happy with that. Uh, and then we started working on the front. He's going to come out in a couple days and we'll, um, yeah, finish that off. But, yeah, massive shout-out to Andy Donahue. Um, make sure you follow his um, Facebook page, Andy Donahue 23 That's his drift page. He's got the LS7 um, S14. Uh, beautiful car, gangster car, went for a ride in it a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah, and mean driver, mean driver. So, um, yeah, he'll be definitely one to look out for in Pro Sport this year. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy with how everything's kind of coming along. It's been a, yeah, a big couple of days, and, yeah, I look forward to the week, see what happens, um, see if Nick's able to make it over, and we can um, kind of get the um, tank and start running the fuel lines, water lines, all that hopefully the firewalls are cut out tomorrow um so we can pick them all up and whatnot so yeah sit tight for um plenty more episodes coming you know it's gonna be a bit of a mad dash to get to the sign rider as one piece um and then yeah like, i'd ultimately like it going but i doubt that it'll be running by then so yeah we'll just kind of have to see how we go i still got the exhaust to do I fucking didn't even put the drive shaft in this weekend. Um, that'll do that tomorrow night. But other than that, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Fuck you, Ra. He's over there somewhere, hiding like a little bitch that he is. 
But yeah, anyway guys, yeah, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time.